If there is one supplement almost everyone should consider, it's omega-3. These healthy fats are essential for our heart, brain, mood, and even inflammation control. But with so many options and such a wide range of prices, choosing the right one can be seriously confusing. So in this video, I'll help you cut through the noise and make a smart, science-backed decision. Not all omega-3 supplements are created equal. Some give you powerful doses of good stuff, EPA and DHA, others mostly filler oil. So the real question isn't which brand looks good, it's what's inside the capsule and how your body can actually use it. First thing to check – the bottle. Omega-3 fats are delicate. They break down when exposed to light and heat, so always choose dark-colored or a pack packaging like umber glass or dark plastic. Avoid clear bottles because if lights get in, those fats can oxidize and lose their benefits or even become harmful. Second thing, the source. Most omega-3s come from one to two sources, fish oil or algae oil. Fish oil is the most researched and usually offers high levels of EPA and DHA. Algae oil is 100% plant-based, great for vegans, and tends to be higher in DHA, though lower in EPA. You might also see krill oil, which may have slightly better absorption, but usually costs more and delivers lower EPA and DHA levels. Forget the front of the label. Flip the bottle around. You want to look at the actual amount of EPA and DHA per serving. Aim for at least 100 mg total per day. If each capsule gives you, let's say, just 200 mg, you would need 5 a day just to hit the minimum. That cheap bottle might not be such a deal after all. Let's say it costs $20, but you need 5 pills a day to get enough omega-3s. Compare that to a $40 bottle that gives you everything in 1-2 capsules. So always calculate uh, the cost per effective daily dose. That's what really matters. Additionally, look out for the word ethyl esters on the label. This form is cheaper to make, but it's less stable and more prone to oxidation. Instead, look for triglyceride or phospholipid forms. They are closer to what you would get in real food and easier for your body to absorb. And here is something almost no one checks – the expiration date. Fish oils go bad over time, especially if they weren't stored properly. Outdated fish oil can lose its benefits, and in some cases it can actually contribute to inflammation. So always check the expiration date and look for fresh options. Even if it's on a sale, don't stock up for a year. Omega-3s go rancid over time, even when sealed. A 2-3 month supply is your sweet spot for both freshness and effectiveness. If you are going with fish oil, look for sources like sardines, anchovies, or mackerel. These smaller fish contain fewer toxins like mercury or PCBs, and avoid large fish like tuna or cod liver oil, unless the product clearly says it's been tested for contaminants. When it comes to food, a flexi and chia seeds are popular plant-based sources of omega-3s. They contain ALA, which your body can convert into EPA and DHA. But here's the thing – the conversion is very inefficient. However, still they are a great way to add fiber, minerals, and a little extra support to your routine. I recommend for the best results keep your seeds whole in the freezer and green them fresh just before using. Add uh, them to uh, smoothies, oatmeal or salads. It's simple, cheap and adds a boost of nutrition without pills. So, omega-3s are essential for long-term health. But not all supplements are worth your money. Choose a reputable brand, check the EPA and DHA dose, look at the form, and don't fall for flashy marketing. A good omega-3 can really support your brain, heart, mood, and more at any age. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.